The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Chapter 5, verse, verses 20 to 26. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to, the, to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and they remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the God, and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel today, Jesus is challenging us challenging everyone who wants to follow him. Challenging us that our religion should be very different from the way the scribes and Pharisees practiced their religion. How different? Different because for the scribes and Pharisees Religion consisted in the external observances. External observances of the commandments, customs, traditions, and rituals. Observances that did not have any interiority. There was absolutely no inner spirit. They did not mean anything to them in their day-to-day -day life. They were not connected to God or to their neighbor when they practiced their religion. And Jesus said, no, that's not what religion is. Religion is a matter of interiority, inner spirit. And Jesus gives an example. You, Jesus said to the Pharisees and scribes, you observe the commandment, do not murder. But then you keep anger, ill feeling, and revenge in your heart. That is hypocrisy. Murder is only an external manifestation of the inner alienation of anger. The moment I keep an anger, I decide to keep an anger, an ill feeling, a revenge against my brother, I am already alienated from him. I decide to keep a distance from him. That is what ends up in murder. Murder is only 
an external manifestation. Anger, St. Paul said, therefore, is already a murder. And the Lord is saying, what's important is the inner spirit. And therefore, if you come to the altar to offer sacrifice, you must look into your heart. Are you keeping any anger in your heart? Go, Jesus said, first. Be reconciled. Only then come and offer your sacrifice. The inner core of religion is total surrender. Total surrender of our life to God. A surrender that should enable us to meet our brothers and sisters in love, in loving service. That is interiority. Not merely doing things. Of course, we need to do things. We need to have external observances. But external observances get the meaning only when they become manifestations of the inner spirit. Interiority manifested in externality. Only such external observances have any meaning in religion. Today, we need to make a very honest soul searching. The way I practice my religion, my piety, Am I truly connected to God? Am I truly connected to my brothers and sisters? Or am I just doing things? Merely doing things, merely practicing religious observances does not make me a religious person. I need to be Surrender to God. And I need to be loving. Ready to spend my life for my brothers and sisters. Amen.